It's me again, but this time I'm actually standing up. There's like a million, literally, well maybe, maybe not literally, but there's like a lot of ways you can use organic coconut oil. Like this right here. So today I'm going to share with you guys how I use organic coconut oil for beauty purposes. Except for some of the ways, like diaper rash cream. I don't wear diapers and I don't have a baby, so I don't use it that way. But these are some of the ways that I use it. I kept hearing about coconut oil before I got it, and then when I finally went to the store to purchase it, I was shocked to know that it was a solid oil. Well, it's kind of melted now because I kept mine somewhere hot, but it melts to the touch. I don't know if it melts at your um, body temperature, which is about 98 degrees, or else it might melt at temperatures um, a little less than that. But uh, regardless, it's a solid oil and it melts, so you can't really use it to mix it with um, you can't mix it with water and shake it up or something because it's just going to uh, remain solid. This jar right here is 16 ounces and this is, runs about um, 10 to $20 depending on where you purchase it from. And then when you do purchase your coconut oil, you want to look at the ingredients on the back of the container and make sure that it says organic extra virgin coconut oil. Nothing more, nothing less, even though if it was less than this, it would be like nothing. <laughs> like I said, there's a million different uses for this, so I'm going to tell you guys how I use this for my beauty routine. So from head to toe, the first use um, for this oil, I use it as like a pre-shampoo oil. Before I shampoo my hair, I like to brush it out, I like to give myself a scalp treatment with a brush, um, and I like to lubricate my hair, so to speak with organic coconut oil. And then I leave it in there for about an hour or two hours, or if I'm in a rash, I leave it in there for 30 minutes, whatever. The point is that I put it in my hair before I shampoo my hair, and it's just a little bit of extra hydration because when you do wash your hair, you're stripping the natural oils out of your hair anyway, so you do want as much hydration as possible. I deep condition my hair with coconut oil. You can either A, just use coconut oil by itself and deep condition like just with this, put on a plastic cap, sit under a hot dryer, or do whatever you do when you deep condition your hair. Or what I like to do is actually use my deep conditioner and then mix it with some of this, maybe like half and half, uh, and then I mix it together and then I put it in my hair and then I put on a plastic cap and then I sit under a dryer for about 30 minutes and then I wash my hair. You can also just plain straight out condition your hair with coconut oil. If you find that your personal, you know, your regular shampoo and conditioner just isn't cutting it for you, like if your hair is just more dry because it's dry outside, then just condition just with this and just wash it out and yeah, go on about your life. I like to put this on the ends of my hair occasionally because I don't wash my hair every single day and a lot of you probably don't wash your hair every single day and my hair gets super dry. I mean like freaking dry. Like I go like this and I look at my hand and there's like five strands of hair on my hand because my hair is breaking off so it's important for me to keep my hair hydrated so I use this just as a conditioner on my ends. I also read that you could use this on your scalp uh, to treat dandruff. I would probably mix this with tea tree oil, massage it into my scalp, work it, work it, work it, and then wash it out and I'm sure um, you know that will be an effective dandruff treatment. So you can also use organic coconut oil as a facial moisturizer. I would probably use it mostly as a night cream or a night moisturizer and it is a non-pore clogging oil so it's not going to cause breakouts or acne. Another way that you can use this oil on your face is if you mix it with baking soda and create a scrub out of it. I would personally mix equal parts organic coconut oil, water like lukewarm or probably like a warm water just so it melts the oil and then um, baking soda, mix it all together and until it creates a paste and then I would like just scrub my face with that. Another use for coconut oil is that you can get your q-tips, dip it in here and then clean out your ears with it. I don't know about you but I don't really like cleaning my ears just with a dry q-tip because it feels like it's not like cleaning it, cleaning it. So um, yeah, you can do that. It's pretty cool. You could use this as a lip scrub. So I would mix this either A with baking soda, just half this and half baking soda, especially since it's winter and our lips are probably gonna be flaking off of our face because oh my gosh, last winter was so atrocious. 
<sighs> for my hair and skin. I don't want that to happen to you guys. You can use this just as a straight up lip conditioner. Just put it on your lips and that's it. Coconut oil makes a really, really great shaving oil, whether you shave your face, when you shave your legs, your, you know, <laughs> if you shave your arms, I'm not an arm shaver, but anywhere you shave on your body, your underarms, whatever, coconut oil makes a really good shaving oil because it helps the blade get closer to your skin, so it's a closer shave, and it's also more hydrating than using like shaving cream or something like that or so. Speaking of hair removal, um, I personally wax my underarms, and I'm a fan of waxing, um, except for like my legs, I like to shave my legs because I don't know, it's not that serious to wax my legs. But um, if you're a waxer too, then coconut oil makes a really, really good post-wax soothing oil. Whether you use it on your face or your eyebrows, whatever, someone's texting me. It really soothes your skin after you get it waxed. It helps with redness and things like that. And it just puts that hydration back into your skin. Speaking of putting hydration back into your skin, this is, oh my gosh, such a luxurious oil um, or moisturizer post sun. Like if you go out to the beach or whatever in the summer, or just as a regular skin moisturizer during the winter, it makes a really, really good skin moisturizer. It just, it's just really soothing and it penetrates deeply and it just, I don't know, it just leaves your skin that's so soft. You can also put some of this in your bath oil if you're a bath taker, which most of us probably are. Um, it's just really hydrating and it's more luxurious than using like baby oil or something like that. And it smells better than olive oil, which is another one of my favorite oils. Coconut oil also makes a really, really, really good massage oil. You know, if you ever want to get romantic with your man or something like that. <laughs> It also soothes irritated and cracked skin. Like I said, you can use it if you have a baby and they get diaper rash, you can use it to soothe diaper rash. If you are one of those people who gets the like chafing on the back of your heel, soothe that with some organic coconut oil and like wear socks please or band-aids or something. Like please treat your feet good. Massage your feet with oil, um, massage your hands, and just you know keep your hands and feet just moisturized. I hate talking about feet, I hate feet except for my own. You can also use it as a cuticle oil for your fingers and for your toes. Just work it in and it makes a really good cuticle oil. Okay, so those are the many ways that I personally use organic coconut oil. If you guys have any ideas that I didn't say in the video, then go ahead and leave it in a comment down below because I'm really curious what else could I possibly use this oil for. And that's it for now. I hope you guys love this video and I hope you guys like my curly hair. Uh, if you guys have any video ideas or requests or anything, then leave it down below. Uh, leave me all your comments um, and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And look forward to more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.